Hello and welcome back. This is question number two in our complex trig. This question is not in your book. It is in our handouts, also posted on Econostoga. So let's take a look at what we have. We have a line from the center of this circle to this edge and it's four inches long. We have a combined angle of 35 degrees and we have a radius of 1.25. Okay, so first of all, at the tangent point here, we are going to draw a line perpendicular to the center. So what we have now is we have a length here of 1.25 and we have a hypotenuse of four. So let's take a look at what we got. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to redraw this guy so it looks like this, just to make it a bit easier, more user friendly. I need to find this angle. I got 1.25 and I have 4. This is my hypotenuse, this is my opposite, this is my adjacent. Now I guess it would help better if I showed the chart after saying that, we're going to use sine. Okay, I want to find this angle. Here's the formula we're going to use. I'm also going to cheat a small amount. It says all of our dimensions are in inches. I'm going to leave it in decimal degrees until we get to the final answer. Okay, just it'll just be a little bit easier than me going DMS, second button, etc. It's still the same number. Okay, so let's draw this out first. Our opposite, so we're going to go sine, sine. It's important that you don't mix these up or you'll be calculating the wrong. So on this, I usually go and put my numbers in. My opposite is 1.25, so I know that my 1.25 is being divided by 4. So when I write this out, second function, sine, I'm going to go 1.25 divided by 4. Okay? Don't go 4 divided by 1.25, you'll come up with a totally different number. Second function, sine, bracket 1.25 divided by 4, bracket equals 18. Point Two zero nine nine five six eight six. Therefore, this angle here is this guy here. I'm going to say minus thirty five equals, and I put divide one eight point. Two zero nine nine five six eight six minus or minus thirty five. Get a negative number. I'll turn that into a positive though. We'll go one six point seven nine zero zero four. We'll just scratch that and we'll just use this number here. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so now we have this angle here, which is 16.79. Now we have another triangle. We have this angle, we have this 4 inch length, and we have this 1.25 here. Okay? So we're going to label this. I'm going to call this uh, big A. We're going to call this little a. Uh, we're going to call this X. And you know what? We're going to call this guy here. Um, we'll call that guy little x. Whatever. We can call this guy B if we want. We'll go B. And then we'll call this guy. Oh, sorry. That's big B. And this guy here is going to be little b. So let's take a look at 
our sign law, sign law here, and we are going to be using A and B. So, uh, what do we got here? I'm going to flip this over. Give me a little bit more white space here. So we're going to go sign, and we're going to go A. Oh, little a, my bad, little a over sign a, oops, a equals b over sign b. Okay, let's fill in our equation here. I'm going to move this on down a little bit. Okay, so we got uh, 1.25 over sine 16.79 equals 4.0 over sine b. Okay, so now we're going to cross multiply. So it's 1.25 times sine b equals uh, sine 1 point, oops, sine 16.79 times 4. We want to get B by itself, so we're going to divide both halves by 1.25. By so sine, sine 16.79 times 4 equals divide by 1.25 equals 0 0.924367068 second function sine equals Six seven point five seven three one zero something something else. We're just going to leave it at that. So this guy here, B, equals sixty seven point five seven three. So I'm going to say one eighty minus. 67.573 plus 16.79 180 minus bracket 67.573 plus 16.79 Seven nine bracket equals nine five point six three seven nine five six three seven big X nine five point six three seven. Okay, time for another fresh piece of paper. Okay, we're going to use the sign law again. Hello, Mr. Sign Law. Hello, Mr. Sign Law here. We're going to use our A, which is our A here, and we're going to use X. You can say B if you want. So we're going to go sign. Oops, we're going to go uh, 1.25 sign 16.79 equals. Uh, X and then we're going to say sine 95.637 637 yes cross multiply so what we have is uh, sine 16.79 times x 
equals 1.25 times sine 95.637. We want x by itself, so we're dividing it by sine 16.79. Divide this side by sine 16.79. Okay, 1.25 times sine 95.637 equals, no, equals divided by sine 16.79 equals 4x equals 4.30635928.3 I think we'll just go make that a 4 I guess look my answers off a small amount to that answer so we're gonna say it's a slight rounding you're off by a tenth I hope that this helps clarify any problems or issues that you're having with uh, question number two.